Hello and welcome back to another Frankly DIY. So on this episode we're doing starter motors. Okay, so starter motors. Okay, you go put the key in the ignition, you go to start it and you get this sound. You get a click okay what that means is your pinion is activating which pushes out from the starter motor but the motor is not spinning okay so first thing to check will be your starter motor solenoid okay check that it sounds good to me because it's clicking so I know I got a starter motor problem right let's get into it okay Okay, first things first, you want to locate your starter motor. Look at that bad boy just there, huh? Okay, so that's my one there. Um, so I need to take this out and check it and see what the hell is going on. Alright, so I believe there is two bolts on the far side of it there, on the other side, so I'll have to get underneath. Um, you'll have to unclip all your wiring, so unclip that, take out the, off the solenoid, take out the positive that goes directly to your battery, which is there, take that out, take out the other wire as well, before you take the starter motor out, obviously it goes, it goes without saying, disconnect the battery nobody wants to be shocked here okay all right let's get cracking okay so look i'm just gonna undo all connection connections to the starter motor before we get into this now i will mention as well that there is a couple of tricks if your starter motor doesn't kick in that you can get a hammer and tap the side of the body of the starter don't touch the solen solenoid which is here and um, for obvious reasons you might damage the solenoid and then you're gonna have to replace your whole motor right but when this happens usually something gets stuck could be carbon build up could be anything right but giving it a tap on the side can sometimes free up the starter motor to get it running maybe a few more times okay or you can rock it in gear usually helps as well now in this case i've done that it worked probably for about I don't know, say a week, but now nothing is happening, so it's time to come out. Alright, so I'm going to just remove, as I said, the positive here and the other cable as well, and tuck these out of the way, move everything else out of my way to allow easy access to get this motor out of there. Right, you see I've uh, taken off all the connections, I pulled out any connections that are there, any wires, just pull them out of the way, but always pay attention to how you take them out in order to put them back again with your new motor or your reconditioned motor or, um, you know, because sometimes it can just be the brushes in the motor that are gone, you just need to replace the brush box and she's good to go again, but if you've got a sol solenoid problem, that's it, you need to replace it, end the story. Okay, so let's get underneath. Uh, move stuff out of the way and get the motor out. Okay, we're, <clears throat> we're underneath. Now we've got two bolts holding the starter motor in. Right, it's your transmission. Okay, you've got one. This is on a Mercedes Sprinter 208 CDI. I'm sure there's many Sprinters that are probably the same. You got one bolt here and one just hooked up here. Alright, can't see it. I don't know if I can see it in there, but just in there, that's where the other bolt is. Okay, so one, two. All right, now I have to move the, the gear, the gear levers out of my way, the brace plate and everything out of my way, and take off 
this bolt as well just so I have some freedom to get into the other top bolt access is very limited now I did get uh, to show you to get an angled extension okay to try and get it out but it kept slipping so it was just easier to take everything off out of my way put it over to one side and all I needed was a straight extension to get access to the bolt so let's just take out those two bolts and pull out the starter motor okay easy peasy all right so as you can see there well kind of space is limited people and I'm trying to do the best I can here uh, but once you get the bolts loosened just do it by hand all right take out the top one first for obvious reasons because when you take these out obviously the standard motor is going to be loose so it's easier to do the top bolt first and do the bottom second so you can grab the starter motor as you take it out all right bam done all right starter motor out all right all right so starter motor's out as you can see so I'm checking my right. pinion looks good huh? it's coming out so we already know that by the click that we heard when I went to start it but we know that the motor is not turning so I'm obviously looking at it for any signs of damage I see a bit of fray here but I don't think that's enough to cause any problems um, but yeah that's how you take out your starter motor now look I'm probably going to do another video here of opening this up because um, I want to see if the bushes, brushes need to be replaced and do that so I'll do a, a separate video but that's how you take out your starter motor and obviously replacing it then is the uh, exact opposite of removing it okay hope this video helped you I'll see you in the next one and we'll sort out what the hell's going on with the starter motor alright thanks for watching and adios